Hey, Sean, it's been a year since I started using the Profit First system of bookkeeping. It's based on a book called Profit First by Mike McCallowicz. He also wrote a great book called The Pumpkin Plan, which I really, really liked about picking good clients and identifying what good clients are and saying no to bad clients. The principle of Profit First is that as your money comes in, you divide it up first into a bunch of places, including profit. So you take profit first, and then what's left, you spend on your expenses, and you sort of work backwards to see how much you can spend. And in many ways, it's just sort of an accounting trick, a bookkeeping strategy. Um, but for somebody like me who did not come from a business background, I found it so helpful. And a year later, I can say, I love this system. I don't think I'll ever outgrow it. It's not something that I think changes like, oh, it just helped me as I was getting started um, because I started it at like year 10 of running my business. And I, I don't see a reason that I will ever leave this system now after testing it for a year. And so the system is basically this. You open a bunch of bank accounts and then you determine a series of percentages that help you divide that money across these bank accounts. And so for me, I have six bank accounts. I have an income account where all of my money from, from clients, from online revenue, wherever money comes from, all of it goes into the income account. I never deposit money into any other account. From there, I have a contractor's account, which is the account that when I write checks to pay my contractors, that all comes out of that contractor's account. And so if I, I, if I get a job before I divide that, that money up to the other accounts, I always take out the chunk that's going to need to be paid to my contractor so that m that money is never messed with. It never goes anywhere except directly to my contractor. So if I get $6,000, but I know 2,400 of it is going to contractors, I just take that out and, and put it in my contractor's accounts so that I never accidentally spend it or lose it or borrow from it. That money is going to my contractor so that I never screw anyone over or ask them to like, wait till you cash that check, please. Um, my contractor's money is safe and separate. My other four accounts are my operating expense account, which my car payment, my internet, my phone, buying new gear, all of that comes out of the operating expenses. My owner's compensation account, which is the account that actually pays me money that I can spend on food and my son and things like that. Uh, my profit account, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's just an account for extra money. And my taxes account, so that stuff is accumulating and once a year I don't get hit with like, oh yeah, I forgot I need to get a bunch of money for taxes. Instead, I'm constantly accumulating money into these. So you determine percentages in a way that makes sense to you for how you divide this, this money up. And for me, my current percentages are 50% of my money goes to my owner's compensation account. So half of the money I make comes to me where I can do fun things with it. 7% gets set aside for taxes, 5% gets set aside for profit, and the remaining 38% gets put to my operating expense account. Doing things this way does three things for me. One, it gives me instant clarity on where my money is. So before when I used to have one account, and I get that there's people with a little discipline who don't who wouldn't benefit as much from something like this. But I used to look at my account and I'd say, hey, I've got four grand. Uh, I can buy that you know, lens, that microphone, that light, whatever I can upgrade. And I forget that, hey, I need to pay myself. I need to have money to pay taxes in a couple months. And so that one balance was misleading for me. But now at a glance, I can see, hey, I've got you know $1,000 to buy new gear. And that still leaves money to pay myself and money to pay taxes and sets money aside safely as profit. So that clarity to adjust your spending to fit where your money is actually going to end up is huge. And so that's a lot of what Profit First is about, is working backwards to say, this is how much money I have in my operating expense account. So I need to get rid of all these expenses so that I know that I'm only living on this. And so a year ago, I whittled down all of my expenses. I canceled every subscription that I had and built back slowly to say, these are the things that I need to run my business. And now I can say, and I've talked about this in other videos, but now I can say, I know that it costs me $1,100 a month to run my business. And that includes my car payment, my gear insurance, all of the subscriptions, my cell phone, everything is included in that. So I know that that's how much money I need. And anything above that, I'll be able to spend on upgrading gear uh, or switching my percentages to pay myself more. And that's what I did. 
as I came back from paternity leave and started making money again. My profit account has been accumulating money at 5%, and I've, I've adjusted these things. It was at 10% when things were really, really good uh, before I took paternity leave, and I, I built that up a little bit. And I borrow from that if a client is paying late and I need to pay contractors, I borrow from the profit account, transfer to the contractors, and then when I get paid, I replenish that payment back to my profit. By doing it this way, not only do I have clarity on where my money is, but it also helps me determine where I want my money to go. And so when I wanna pay myself more, rather than look at what's left in my account and give it to myself, I separate these percentages ahead of time to say, I want half of that money, so how do I adjust my business to run off the remainder of it? And so the percentages help with that. But then the third thing that they really help with is understanding what a project's value truly is. And I think before, I used to be in this mindset of like, oh, hey, you know, $2,000 to do a video, yes, and then that way I'll be able to, to get this or, you know, I could use that two grand. But it quickly puts in perspective, wait, I know that of that two grand, only half of it's actually going to me. Only a piece of it is going to be able to purchase gear and the rest is getting set aside for taxes. So it's not actually, it, 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 it clears things up for me to say, I know what a project is worth. And when I, when I bid a project and I say, you know, this is going to be X amount of dollars, I know that from that I'm getting paid a certain percentage, a certain percentage is going to pay my bills. And it becomes very easy to say, hey, I don't, I don't want this project, I can't handle this project financially because it doesn't pay enough to justify what I need it to do as where before I would have said like, oh, 800 bucks, sure, I could use 800 bucks, but I know that it's gonna tie me up because I can see where that's gonna get divvied up later. So after a year, I love the system, I feel like I have control of where my expenses are and then I'm finally doing this same thing in my personal life on the other side to that money that does end up coming to me how much of that goes to rent and to gas and things like that, because now it puts those projects in even more perspective to say of that two grand, yes, half of it's coming to me, but I know from that half of it's going to rent and half of it's going to, you know, or mortgage or whatever, half of it's going to, to this and that. And so quickly, I understand when I say yes to a project, where that money is going to go and how it's going to affect my life and therefore what I need to charge for a project. So that's it. You should read the book if you haven't. Um, and if you think the system isn't for you, read the book anyway. And I think you might find yourself pleasantly surprised. I know that I was. Uh, this isn't paid or anything like that. Unless you guys want to pay me, go for it. Um, but I'm just a fan and it really worked in turning my business and my finances around. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.